gentlemen, good morning, good afternoon, good evening. I am your host, Data T, and this is my channel, The Good Guys. Guys, today's story comes out of Indianapolis, okay? And it says here, the IMPD investigates two self-defense shootings. Okay. Guys, before we get into today's story, if you wouldn't mind leaving a like, leaving a comment, subscribing. Remember, we are on the road to a thousand subscribers. And I know that with your help, we can get there. Guys, also hit me up on Minds, on Twitter, and even on Truth Social. I post and promote my videos all the time there. And, um... Come say hi. All right. So without further ado, guys, let us dive into today's story. Whether self-defense played a role in two recent shootings, one of which was deadly. As Fox 59's Russ McQuaid explains, the law is very specific on what constitutes self-defense. This is the 4400 block of Arcadia, where at about 1 o'clock on Sunday morning, a woman shot a man she said was jiggling her doorknob trying to get into her house. He was on the other side of the door, and he said, I live here. No, he didn't. This was just one of two self-defense shootings on the west side this weekend. The man shot on Arcadia Street early Sunday morning lived. A man shot on a back porch in Meganwood Court Saturday night did not. In that case, police say they were aware of a report of a suspicious person in the neighborhood. Regardless, IMPD detectives have decided to not charge the homeowners in either case. The right to defend oneself and one's property is, uh, is a sacred right. Of just a few more than 100 homicides in Indianapolis thus far this year, criminal charges have only been filed in about 85% of those cases. Self-defense is one reason why those cases haven't been filed, and the law is specific on what qualifies. Now, guys... I'm glad that this individual was there about, you know, uh, your right, uh, the right, the Pacific right he should have mentioned was the right to keep and bear arms. All right. That's the one we are heavily focused about. But the ability to have life, liberty and the pursuit of happiness also is something that is paramount to our country, meaning we need to be able to protect ourselves and those around you and your property. And we have two different examples of two people not being charged by the Indianapolis police because of self-defense. Okay. They believe that you should be able to have the ability to protect yourself. One person died. One person did not. I love the fact that this is being highlighted because people need to understand okay the 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 importance of firearms it is so important now indiana itself is a constitutional carry state you do not need a permit to carry a firearm thank god okay uh for all of you who don't didn't know this this was a very famous state for the particular self-defender. His name was Eli, who, um, who shot an active, shot and killed an active shooter in the mall 40 yards away. He put nine shots downrange, and he put eight of them on this guy, killed him. But unfortunately, that guy did kill three people, came out of the bathroom shooting. But at least... It was that young man who was concealed carry at the age of 22 who shot and killed that particular active shooter. If we go back to today's story here, okay, this woman, and I always advocate for women to carry firearms, and this woman was able to shoot this joker who was jiggling her door, okay, you know, you can jiggle everything else, but stay away from my stuff, right? She was able to defend herself. Kudos to this woman. She is a good guy. Then you had another incident where some joker was trying to be on some guy's porch and 
he also shot this person and guess what killed them okay we do not advocate nor celebrate death but we absolutely love and we will absolutely jump up and down in joy for a person who defends themselves and uses their firearms to in defense of others and themselves and their property it is what it is designed for if we did not have them criminals would run amok this we know this but the assholes above us the politicians above us especially the ones that don't know a goddamn thing on guns they want to take them from us guys let's hear the rest of this story allowed to use deadly force if a person enters your home you can use deadly force if you reasonably believe that your life is going to be in danger or a family member or friend life will be in danger. If someone is charged and a case goes to trial, defense attorney Jeff Mendez says members of a jury in Indianapolis are likely to be gun owners themselves and may be inclined to see any criminal charges from a self-defense point of view. I'd say 30 to 40 percent of individuals who are on juries either have a license to carry or are gun owners. If a Guys, think about that. This is fantastic news to hear. Okay, and I got to tell you, Indiana is a red state and it's a great state to live in. And I have to say, I have to say, if you are, let's say you're involved in a self-defense shooting. And I and I've covered, I think, one story, especially where they let a particular person go. This was the young man with the animals and. um now his family is going after the other family civilly but guys imagine you are in a courtroom and members of the jury are packing they're thinking oh 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 you you were in self you were in fear of your life oh i'm 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 definitely voting not guilty that's how it be and it would be fantastic. It would send a message to everybody, Baba. You, what did you did you think you could just come in there and take his stuff? Did you just come in there and think you could just pose like this is your crib? No, Papa, you can't do that. You got shot. Oh, too bad. Not guilty. That's how it's got to be. That is how it has to be. And this is fantastic that they're highlighting this. 30% of the jury. So out of out of 9 or 12 jurors, you got what? 30%. Mm, 3, 6, 9, 12. So that means, yeah, at least 3. That's fantastic. That is fantastic. Okay. I, I would say that I wonder if if knowing that I wonder in if you guys look at um, the Kyle Rittenhouse um, jury I wonder how many gun owners were on that uh, on that panel just wondering let's finish out the story if a charge like that is filed you're gonna have a difficult time persuading a jury that you're guilty of a major crime like murder, manslaughter, so forth and so on. It'll be up to Marion County Prosecutor Ryan Mears to decide if the residents will face criminal charges. Russ McQuaid, Fox 59 News. Well, hopefully that is not the case. And um, the other side of that, guys, is, you know, when, um, you know, getting to court and, being found not guilty and even then you're not out of the woods yet because then these jokers want to come after you civilly and it's it's terrible and i wish i wish they'd pass a law that says you cannot come after a particular person's family or the self-defender if he is deemed in criminal court not guilty i i i i really wish they would do something like that but anyway 
guys, the point of this and to to make a long story short is thank goodness that these guys had their guns, right? Thank goodness they are they are obviously examples of self defense and people especially um those guys on the left those lefties those 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 head of an asses donkey uh uh caboose uh, i mean they are they are uh, totally oblivious to firearms like this guy david hogg man what an asshole and what an ignorant asshole he is okay and it's just that it's just that uh, they don't even try to make the case or see the other side. There's always this expression where we say, step into your opponent's shoes. You know, is there any sympathy that you can have there? It, do, you, do you recognize anything there? And guess what? I, I got to say... I also think about the other side too, the ability to say, you know what, do I, what, what is the, 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 the moral case or the case where I say, Hey, we, the American people shouldn't have guns. And I look at that side, I put my feet there and I dive and I say, no, for everything that you're standing for, for everything that I'm trying to understand your empathy i had, i know you don't like the school shootings i know you don't like certain things the gun violence that keeps happening and happening and happening or so you think even with all that i'm thinking to myself nope i'd rather be over here i'd rather be the one with guns i'd rather have dangerous freedom than tyranny i don't want it guys there are some sheriff out there i think he talked about having to give up gun control for security no absolutely not uh the, i think the saying goes um if you're willing to give up your liberty for safety you will have neither and I can absolutely understand that. I hope you do too. I think good guys know this. And this is why good guys have guns. Good guys should always have them. They should always keep and bear arms. Because guess what? If good people do nothing. There will be no good guys. Mm -hmm.